Welcome everyone to an end of season review of the promotion winning campaign of 2016 and 2017. What, what season it was for all of us involved. Um, and there isn't too much to say, but we could go through the season and talk about it. And the highs and lows, though the main was highs. Yeah. Yeah, but we, there are a few lows we talk about as well. And how it felt for us at the time. So we're going to start off with um, the start, start of the season. Yes. Start off with OK. Four nil, wouldn't four nil against Paul Town, wasn't it? The start game was and, and then, fantastic. Uh, one nil, Concord, wasn't it? Um, I think yeah, away. It was one nil win, isn't it? And then after that, it uh, went eight draws in a row. Five draws, I think it was. <laughs> yeah, five draws or something in a row. One alls, two alls, nil nils. Wasn't particularly great. And no. I think we started a lot at the start of the season. I don't think we played very well. I think mm. we didn't Settle click. Team. Yeah, I think sometimes it was a bit of a. We were still had that from the last campaign. We were still getting over yeah. all that, all the uh, Maystone, heartache from right, Maystone yeah. to all uh, when they beat us in the playoff final last season. I think we were a bit, a bit juttery from there. Yeah. And then, of course, came the start of September, oh. where we lost to Gosport, who went down in the end, didn't they? And Chelmsford two one. Now Chelmsford are a good team. We give them that. Um, so I, I don't mind losing to Chelmsford. Yeah, better. Well, obviously better. Clearly, we would yeah. be in promotion. But Gosport bar. Lost to them, didn't we? Is it mm. when it, one nil? Was it two one? One nil, I think. Sorry. And we thought, that, that was that was one of the biggest defeats, I think, of the season. Uh, in yeah. terms of balancing defeats, and that really cost us a title, isn't it? No. That defeat. True. Yeah. True. Oh, I'll come back to that in a second. And of course, we got the game uh, Maidenhead it came after. After the Maidenhead came after, yeah. where we were we were one down, two down, maybe oh, came back oh, to oh, all, yeah. and they I was there. And they scored, they won 3-2. Fair play to Mainhead for winning that game. Uh, they showed that drive to get the win at our ground, 3-2. But if we if we had drawn that, if we had that 2 all, we'd be, a title would be ours. Yeah. Uh, but we didn't. Uh, we let, And that, that was very much the whole start of the season, wasn't it? Where we just didn't play well enough and we mm. failed at the start of the season. And that showed in other ways as well. But here we are, we've got promotion yet. I, mean, I think, I think what was, was the big turning point of the season? Dartford away. Dartford After away. that. Run on the mad run. You did, didn't we? Killing it and stuff. Harry's in the cup. We'll talk about cup second. But, uh, yeah, after Dartford away. Really, yeah, we, we just turned on. So thank you, Dartford fans. Uh, uh, yeah, thanks to your team that we picked up our amazing run. And, uh, you know, we, went, we, 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 we didn't lose it for 22 games or whatever. Yeah. Um, ridiculous, isn't it? Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And that was a big turning point for the season. Uh, but, I mean, I'm not saying we, we did well beforehand to a point. You know, we were still at the top three, top four, mm. but we really picked up and we were chasing Mainhead. Uh, we were right so close. Right yeah, we were so close, weren't we? We were actually above them with one, one point. Like but two what, minutes. What, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But what was the big downfall in our end of the season was the draws against Hampton, Richmond and Churro, especially Churro, yeah. away, where we should have gone there and picked up the points because that would give us the, um, the title. The title. Uh, but it wasn't to be, was it? Uh, we didn't do it. Mainhead won the championship. Fair play to them. Yeah. Fair play to Mainhead. Uh, Tarpy, mad run, didn't he, of, of goals, fantastic goals, great striker. You've got some good players in your team, and they sound some good players already, I think. I've heard that um, I think I have, anyway. Uh, and they look to be doing uh, doing quite well, and fair play for them for winning the title. Congratulations again to all Mainhead fans who watched this. Your team deserved it in the end. So up. However, we're joining you, and we'll talk about that whole promotion in a second. Mm, yeah. Now... What is your Pacific highlight for you, Ali? What was the biggest game for you that was too good? Millstone away. Yeah, Millstone, Millstone away. Yeah. That was a good game. Goals galore. That was goals. I, I, I might put a goal from that game at the end of this video, actually. Winfield's header. Winfield's header, yeah. Winfield. Fantastic, wasn't it? Just a lovely yeah. little stink bottom corner. And we went crazy. And that was yeah. a good game, wasn't it? 4-2. 4-2, yeah. Uh, the only goal for that was nuts. <laughs> um, for me, the, the game was welling away. Where there were 10 men, one all, and we come and just Powell comes in and scores a goal. Went actually nuts, didn't we? Yeah, what a game I that was. I went there. No, oh, yeah, you went there. That's a good point. Was but, this mystery guest and <laughs> your mate. Yeah, so the two, two other people were there with me uh, where we won 2-1 uh, against winning. And that game was really good. And I'll put like, hopefully another cup of that game at the end of the video as well. I'll put up both our highlights at the end of this uh, video as well as maybe the promotion as well at the end of the video. Um, of course, another highlight for me uh, was the best stalker game. 8-0 win. 8-0 win. Two hat-tricks. Two hat-tricks from McQueen and Cook. Kept well and someone else. Yeah, I don't think there's much... I think in the end of the day, it was quite a... That game was 
bit but easy. Bit easy, yeah. <laughs> we, we won that and we kind of got our promotion um, because that and that game just really just summed up the season. Yeah. Four, like, eight to win and oh, well, okay. yeah, I, I, I never highlight would be Dartford being Dartford. It was a highlight of the season being Dartford at home, um, oh, beating them badly. Bob with a tap in it wasn't a great game, but we beat them. So as every fan, I don't care. We beat them because yeah. they beat us. But we beat them in the biggest game, um, and of course for me, Maidenhead at ho- away was a. Fant- I wasn't in go, but I was at Jules actually for that game. <laughs> uh, Jules Fleetwood, and when the girls came in, uh, both me and Mr. Guest, um, we were going mental, and the Jules fans were going, "What's going on these two people?" Because <laughs> you know we were like celebrating, but Jules just conceded so a bit. It was a bit weird, um, but two one winning against Maidenhead, wasn't it? But of course, I was at a game where Maidenhead beat us, and that was a bit hurtful. I, I said that at the time. I said this that goal would be key in, in the title challenge, and I was yeah. like, I did, yes, I did say that, and it was. I thought this guy's goals, this goals could go back haunt us, and it kind of did, but did. maybe not to the yeah. to the thing as it as it would have done. So, the cups, Ali. Let's talk about the cups. FA Cup, FA Trophy. How do you think we'd perform them? Okay, not brilliant. I thought we could have done further, but killing myself. Yeah. Won. 3-0, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, we, who did we beat? Harrow, was it? Was it Harrow? We beat... We, we haven't. Woking, didn't we? Yeah, Woking. Haven't. Well, haven't, haven't. And some of a weird team. <sighs> yeah, I mean, the FA Trophy was decent. Getting the third round, I yeah, think we could go I, further. Yeah, but... I think it was disappointing in that sense. And FA, FA Cup, that was a decent disappointment for me. Because we got to the fourth round, qualifying. Then we lost to Merson away. Now, not no offence to Merson whatsoever, yeah. but... Yeah. Lose 2-1. Like Jules. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, just Backley to lose to a team that we should be beat. It was a bit disappointing. And I think our way form in Cops hasn't been that brilliant. No. Um, and I think I like next season to us to better. I mean, we talk about second next season, but I think we could have probably the best in the Cups generally. I think we could have probably um, improved. improved in that. Hopefully next season will do better in the Cups because it's not, it's not think, big win. We just focus on promotion. I think. Yeah, I agree. I think I think the main aim was to get up the season. It's just do it, you know. Don't have anything else to promotion, and, and that's good. And I'm glad for that. But over next season, we'll have a bit more cup emphasis because the cup is really cool. I love I love the cup of games. Could be non league Wembley day. Exactly non Wembley. If you haven't watched the video, go watch it. Non league finals day, where we were there. Yeah, week. You, Charlie. Yeah, having good fun, having good banter. Uh, great, great games of football. I mean, enjoyed it loads. So if you'd like, check the video out. Uh, so what what big teams that oppressed you, Annie? What big teams? Well, no, of the season. Western, I thought they were decent. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. They uh, passed, aren't they? Yeah, I thought they good. Yes. Hampton, the first match. Hampton. One all. Yeah, they they really outplayed us. One 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 Yeah, they really outplayed us in some parts of the game. Yeah. Uh, really good team. And another one. Eastbourne, the first half. I thought they were good. Yeah, because they're kind yeah, of trapped in the second half, and they. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I think some good, some things there. For me, for me, I thought Chelmsford uh, were decent. I think they they c- c- could play, and they, but things have lost a lot of key players. But hopefully, they can get some good players back. Um, for me, Hampton was you were right there. Hampton, uh, what a team! The, f- the first game I played against us, they it's were Tuesday night, wasn't it? yeah, much better. I thought in that in that, in that game. Um, Weston, you again incorrect there. Uh, what a they played some awesome football. Team, yeah. It's only because we had a ten minute just magic moment where we just and you ran off and went off the pitch. And I, you know, I, I was running around the whole stadium at that time, uh, as you can say. You know, I was went mad, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Two one win, but I, I think that those teams were teams that we we suppressed. I mean, actually, I was suppressed with Paul for how they got up in the season. I didn't think they were good. Hungerford but, did alright. Hungerford, yeah, those I, teams. I didn't mind. Sorry. I can't comment on their performances. No, and I only saw Paul Town once as well, but. Didn't, just, just in terms, I didn't go to the home game. I was on holiday. Whoops. Um, in terms of their position table, fair play to them, I think. Yeah. Well done to them. Um, so hopefully we'll see more of them in the future because they have some good players. Just need a better ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. The whole regulation, uh, regulation problems with their grounds. So promotion, Ali, what does it feel like to be promoted? I mean, what a time, wasn't what it? Good day that was. <sighs> Yeah, very good. Day. Live long in memories that day. Half time, full, not a game. And then, <laughs> we were mad five minutes, we just yeah. smashed them. Yeah, that was good yeah. five minutes, wasn't it? Your program got drenched. Yeah, good day, good day. <laughs> yeah, my program, uh, as you've seen in the video, was destroyed. 
uh, what a uh, <laughs> sad times for that, that program. But it was a good day, wasn't yeah. it? And we were petrified. It was like, everyone had so much fun. We did it. We finally got promoted. Yeah. And next season we're going to be in National League Premier and fantastic. Well done to the McMahon and all the players yeah. involved in that. Now, do you want players? Player of the season, Ali. For me. Yeah, go for it. Go on. So huge player season. Uh, uh, I like two. McCoy, I thought he was good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Powell, I thought he'd run the games sometimes. Okay, so you say in, McCoy. In the final, he changed the game. Okay, okay. So Ali says uh, Powell and McCoy, right? Well, oh, yeah, Clark improved as well. I didn't like him at first. No, I agree. Well, I agree with Clark. I Thank think you. I think Clark improved. Now, I, didn't, I was... Me, we can... Both of yeah. our Twitter, didn't we, like we, we didn't like course. him. We were saying things. Clark is a bad player. I, well, I don't think he was good at the start of the season. I think he was a bit on a, on the floor. Dodgy, His passing was a bit awful. dodgy, yeah. But he improved massively and fair with play win, to him. With Winfield, he improved. Yeah. I think Winfield, he found his partner, didn't he? Um, and the other time last week. Phillips. Phillips. Phillips was okay. I just think he his age had a bit yeah, in, the did, it, yeah. uh, in the season. But he was not a bad player. I'm not saying Phillips was a bad player. But he got well. I just think at the end of the day, Winfield just trying a bit more. Yeah. You said McCoy was your player. McCoy was a good player. I love McCoy. Um, and Powell, different, which... Different which me and Ali have different views on our pal. Um, I to be fair, pal's a good player. I don't mean one, but player season, not for me. Um, player season for me is tough because a lot of players players do well. Cook is always be up there. I thought Cook won the game sometimes on the wing. Uh, he he it's did though as usually he he said the final and I think uh, towards the end of the season, the last few games he didn't maybe put on his fires yeah, he had them. Yeah, he did. But a lot of games. Well, I like Cook, but he's a good player. Um, Dewey for me another player of the seat because he changed this, once he came into the team we started winning the game Dewey has to be up there but I think my favourite player of the season has to be Connor's knife Jake uh, <laughs> I think in terms of just excitement it's McQueen Caleb's man Caleb's man yeah with Adam uh, McQueen um, he England, changed games England call up and score two exactly two, go- two goals in one game for the England team and what player? Power played, well. power played yeah. Um, so I think it comes actually actually my player of the season. It, I, I don't think it came with one player so as you no. said. So you had three, didn't you? Whole team, yeah. I think that. I think that. Someone. Well, we'll go to the worst player of the season. Who had a bomb formed, and people might disagree. Uh, so there's a player, someone out there who will disagree with me. Um, but for me, it's probably going to be Connors. Um. He wasn't the most reliable left back of, I've ever seen. I mean, don't get me wrong. Going, I, it's solid, but it's annoying. Yeah, exactly. I think he Can't could do anything. He could he could go forward sometimes. I mean, he went forward. He, thinking, he holds on to the ball too long. He's a bit. Opinion. Yes, I agree. I think he's a bit slow in releasing the ball. I think he's not the most fastest attacking player. Is he? He's a nah, bit. A he doesn't run to side, does he? Sometimes he want to run a bit more. Yeah, he um, a bit more open. Exactly, but he's young. You learn, but. He, he, he did show some quality sometimes. He, he, sometimes, not, yeah. sometimes you watch him play and go, hang on, maybe he's got something, but then he'll just pass and it away. Lose it, lose yeah. it. Um, so definitely Connors. Um, I th- anyone else, really? I don't think... Shields, maybe? I don't know. No, but I, I don't think Shields was given the opportunity as much. No, yeah. But at the start, I thought it was nah, he Improved, yeah. Kedwell, start season, was a bit slow. Yeah, Wilson game. Wilson game changed it because yeah. I gave him loads of sticks and he apparently turned really good. Um, so fair play, Kedwell. <laughs> That's it, really? Can't yeah. Think, can't think of anyone. What about, what do you think about um, Sheringham and Lewis, their situations? Didn't play, no. No. And Lewis is now a Mason player. And Sheringham was doing nothing. He'd be a free agent, wasn't he? So... And more hence they bound, I think. Yeah, well... And if, I, I do feel Sheringham could have been given a better chance, but I think at the same time he didn't take his chance when he was given to him, did he? Yeah. You know, he, he ate, couldn't get... score, could he, when he tried? <laughs> that he... game of, who was it? He was offside in his scores. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> like, five times he was offside. I think Margate. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think he, he's a good player seeing up chances. He, he can see the play well, but he's, yeah, he, he's in front of goal, he wasn't good, was he? Yeah. I think confidence issue for him. Um, and Lewis, I think, was, I think, unfortunate, I really. Mean, See much of him? No, he didn't. Did you? I don't think they're fortunate. I think he just injuries and players got ahead of him. And I hope he does well, Maystone. Even though we're playing at some hotels as well, because he is a really like Lewis still. 
Sorry, Ali. Um, positions for next season. What do Everett need to strengthen for One the next season? Position, big time. <laughs> you know what position, everyone? Left back. Mark Fulton, that person. Left back. Yeah. Yeah, I think left back we're gonna need. I think we're gonna sign a left back who can go forward, who can defend, get pace. Get pace. Yeah, he uh, can run with Cook or whoever's on the wing. Yeah. I um, think. I think. Keeper. Another one. Yeah, as you see, yeah, maybe. maybe, yeah, of the of the conference. Set the centre back, definitely. Yeah, I think for all things, I think Flitz will probably go. Yeah. I think we need a new one, because I think Mambo goes well, because Mambo didn't play much. You no, know, we love Mambo. Yeah. We love Mambo. Yeah, what a guy. Nice. I don't think he's going to be staying. So centre back, maybe. Centre back, yeah. Maybe a winger, if Deering goes, because the whole thing, just to talk back quickly, actually, Deering saga, Villaricki said they're signing him. And they're not. Well. Apparently not. Just we've we, we've offered him contract, but so have they apparently as well. And he's deciding. He's deciding now. If Deering goes, not the end of the world. Uh, he's a good player, isn't he? Can't pass. He can't pass. Well, his passing's a bit dodgy. Dodgy. But, uh, <laughs> but he can change a game. Yeah, he did have uh, one the second half. He didn't. He, 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 he's he plays. A, I don't think he's a good winger. He's a player that's a cam. He yeah, he he'll run. He and has just, moments. He's brilliant. Exactly. And then moments when he's so. I don't. I don't think he's any uh, irreplaceable. I think we can no, find time to replace him. Finished good striker, not Cody. I hope he says Jules. Really saying that now? Yeah? Ooh, yeah. he's saying that he's saying Jules. Now I think that's just changed tune. Actually, he he, he didn't think Cody should stay at Jules. He's changed his tune. What's that? Legend, isn't it, Jules? Yeah, true. I guess. I guess. So it's, it's, it's always good to keep keep we'll your see, we'll see. We'll see. I think uh, Kerry Rose has got on a bit. They scored in the final. It was good. He was good actually, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, good point, Luke Striker. Um I think we need McQueen next season. Bob. Yeah, I like Kedwell, he'll be alright. Kedwell, but I think we've got all his age is getting on and on. So, yeah, so I think we need a striker. We, we I think we're a striker. Score. To go along with those people. We've got Bob and McQueen. I don't know what he's gonna be like after injury. Well exactly. True. So we, I think a striker definitely. A, bit, a left back, a centre back, maybe a goalkeeper. And maybe a winger. Uh, so about five players. Seven, about eight, five. Eight, one. It depends on how Dewey get, uh, performs with his injury. Well, yeah, Rance. I liked him as well. Last season. <laughs> Rance is good. He, he, he perfect same finals is fantastic. Um, so I think we're going to need about five, six players. Yeah. Probably about probably depends, five. Depends who goes really. Yeah, exactly. I think it depends who goes stays. But for now, we're going to say five players. Left back, a goalkeeper. A centre back. back a striker. A winger. Slash cam. Slash cam. There are, there are five main positions we think we need to improve, not to improve on, but some experience and some other players there uh, in that sense. Um, but we'll see what Mom brings, don't we? I'm excited for this. I'm excited for the whole transfer uh, situation because mm. who got bring in? Who, who, who are we going to get rid of? And um, what's the team's going to be next season? Now, what are our hopes for next season? And I think our hopes are going to be mid table. Mid table. Thesis, whatever Charlie said last week. Yeah, if you watched the video uh, a couple of weeks ago, Charlie said, uh, mid-table, 12, keep our position here, you know, let's, let's make, solidify here, yeah, and build from the season after and keep building. I think we shouldn't aim too high, we shouldn't aim too low, mid-table should be good, and I think a big fun season next yeah. season. I think next season, I hope to be in Cup, let's get further in FA Cup, let's get further in FA Trophy, um, let's, let's improve on what we've done this season in Cup-wise, mm. um, and we'll see how it goes, but it's great to be in National League, yeah, isn't it? Um, club. We will be there for a lot of games. So we're going to be there. I'm going to hopefully be there for most home games. Of course, I'll try get there. I am living in Colchester next season, this year, so it's hard for me to get to games, but I'll do my best to get to every single game. I'll I'm, get some I'm ticket. undecided. Yeah, he's, he might get some ticket, he might not. If you, if you think you should get some ticket, say it in the comments. <laughs> I don't know who will actually watch this, but <laughs> put in the comments if you think you should get some ticket. Okay? Um, because he will... No, I, I think he should know, do. I don't know. He's unsided. He's, he's still a bit Jules torn. Um, and, and, and Caleb as well. Yeah. If, if, if he should get some ticket. And Charlie. If they, if they, if they, comment if they should all get some season <laughs> ticket. Um, because I, I will be getting one anyway. And away games will be there, won't we, Ali? Lane Oil away, definitely. Dagenham and Redbridge away. Not doing like any long ones. Got enough long ones. Yeah. Well, yeah. Maystone, Dover, Bromley, Woking, yeah. and a few others. And a few others around as well. Eastleigh. Easily, yeah, yeah. He's there by, yeah. So maybe six, seven, eight away games we can go to. Hopefully, so yeah. depending on fixtures, clashes, 
you know, oh, well, well, it depends on who Jules gets as well, isn't it, for you? Uh, but for me, I'll probably be there because I'm a nutter, every fan. But hopefully I might do some, um, maybe some culture, culture games as well for this for his channel. Um, and maybe do some other teams as well, if you want me to do. I'm not sure yet. Um, because, you know, I'll be doing culture so I might have to go see him for once. Uh, because I'm a mm. idiot like that. But in terms of videos, guys, this will be the last video. Unless you guys want to see anything. You want to see uh, maybe our favourite epic moments. We talk about that. Or talk about any other moments we have in football. Um, let us know in the comments if you want to see anything. We're happy to do, do this, aren't we? If you want to see any of the content. Yeah. But until until uh, then, this has been our every season review. What a season this has been. I'm so happy where we are in the season. Aren't you happy? Yeah, very happy. Exactly. Static, yeah. I think the word is say. Um, but we won't be back now. I wanted to say so until July 15th for me. He won't be there. He won't be at the game. But July 15th, I'll be there. Hopefully, for the really epic against Tottenham. And then I won't be there until... Friendly be boring. Yeah, friendlies are kind of a bit annoying so and boring, so I won't maybe be there. Also, cost as well to get to them. But I will definitely be there for um, the season starts, and we'll be yep. looking forward to that. So, until then, guys, have a great summer. Up Enjoy. Fleet. Up the fleet. Head a cow. Lovely. <laughs> you said it. Yay. Um, up the fleet. Let's do this season. That's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. And I'll now leave you with some clips of some goals Same that were goals, scored yeah. uh, in the Ed Fleet uh, playoff. And Victory. our favourite moments. Our favourite moments. And Thanks, guys, for watching. <laughs> Put picture him there. Anyway, guys, see you later. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you like it. And we'll see you very shortly. Come on, boy! Come on! Come on! Come